Hi, this is John Doe, aka Frags with the DNB Academy, and welcome to another sound recreation video. For this one, I brought you uh, this awesome track by Emily Mackis, uh, Ducks and Bass. It's called My Type, featuring Dread, MC, and T Man. All right, uh, it's a vocal DNB track, but uh, it does have like such awesome bass design going on on this one uh, that I decided to go. Instead of the main bass, we go into that little stab that we're gonna hear just in a minute. So, for starters, let's just check the original first. You say you got that bad boy recipe. Are you saying all that just to get with me? Well, if you wanna step to my level G, you need to know I like. I want a big Mac, no more lies. So yeah, this is pretty much it, guys. And we gonna focus on that little techy stab uh, that you hear. On the, um, on the bottom of the track, it's not that prominent, so I'm gonna add this little EQ so we feel our synth a bit better. So, this is what we came up with. So, yeah, this is it. Let's flip the screen and get into Serum. All right, now that we got our media laid down. Uh, it sounds something like this. Yeah, which doesn't sound that good. And we're gonna start off by this, okay. So, first things first, let's select our wavetable. We're gonna go with the square wave for this one, all right? It's gonna be our main one. And we're gonna turn this, this down three octaves. So we use something like this, right? And then obviously we're gonna start shaping it. It's the first thing that we kind of need to do so this feels like an actual step. So we're gonna do this in the, 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 the level of the oscillator and also on our filter. So let's just start with something like this because we know this sound is like really short and stabby, but it doesn't like, it does have a tail. So I, I since you all know, I, I prefer to use these envelopes instead of these ones for quite a few reasons. Um, just so we have more control. That's why we're gonna go um, onto this one, okay? So let's assign this to the level here first. So we should already be having something like this. But obviously all these tops are making this sound annoying. So let's turn on our filter. We're gonna go to the MG Low 24, which is a bit more aggressive. We're gonna put it here. Select this off waypoint like 40 Hertz, something like this. Slowly increase this. We don't want to bring too much of those tops out, you know. We want the, the resonance of the mids. You know. So something like this should work for now. Uh, the filter took off a bit of our volume, so we can increase it here on the master. Right. And then we're gonna turn our turn on our oscillator B for now. Then we're gonna tweak this one a little bit, but we need to do some stuff here before. Okay, so we're gonna push the level all the way down. Gonna go into the it's it's kind of like up to you in this case, but I kinda like to use this one to create this more of a like acid kind of sound, uh, kind of synth in this case. So I'm, we're gonna go with this BS2 acid wavetable, and we're also gonna assign our LFO to the level, which it's kind of like up to you. It depends on the also on the output. It's just a suggestion. I'm gonna remove it though for now, but you'll see it later. Uh, but we do wanna create a FM from B, so we're gonna put this all the way down, the level of oscillator B, and we're gonna assign this to our FM. Okay, so we can get this. You see, let's turn this random phase all the way down. We want to have a bit more of this acid part of the synth to come forward. All right, then we're going to give two voices here just for a little bit of width. We can turn the random phase all the way down if you want to. And you can choose like the specific part which sounds better. This and this one here, right? 
and we can also just, if you want to give it a shot, get the bend negative and positive because we can just stretch the wavetable a little bit like this or we can also apply this here. Awesome, let's just shape this a bit better. We're letting a bit too much of the, the mid range to cut through when we don't want that. It's just a fine tuning process here, guys. And to match it to the original, we kind of need to follow that. Awesome, just giving a slight attack on our shape so it doesn't get that clicky, you know. So sounding good to me here on the patch, all right. So now that we got pretty much everything done here within um, this type of serum, we're gonna flip into the effects, right? We're not gonna do much in this part because we wanna keep this, this sound kinda clean, you know, and the more we're gonna add here, uh, the more we can just wreck it, right? So let's just add a subtle, subtle distortion. You see, because the more you we add in, it starts to bring, like it's cool for other sounds, but not what we want here. We can apply it here so we can just use the distortion on the peak of the shape, all right? It was looking good. Let's turn on the chorus. But it's somewhere always like here because we don't want it to, to be too aggressive. We can aim for the higher frequencies. Just create a bit more width. And then we can apply a compressor. All right, this is the part where we need to be kind of chill, you know, N not do too much. But we want to bring this crispy mids and the lows, even though we're not going to use most of them, you know. It's cool to have them here. We're going to filter them out later. Let's just take some of these peaky tops that we're getting. We can actually decrease the threshold a little bit. Cool. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. All right, the next thing that you can do is like after what we did with the compressor, we can apply a filter again, a low, low pass here, once again. So we can get rid of those little frequencies we added with the OTT. Not get rid, but tame them a little bit. So we're just compensating what we boosted. It's, it's all about that. So it's now it's way more clean. It's not that harsh on the tops. Something like this, right? And just at the end, we can add a um, EQ, right? Uh, so we can actually bring some of those healthier frequencies. This way we have a bit more control. This clunky part, you know? Feels good to me. All right, so we might need to do some tweaks here within Serum, all right? But I feel like the main patch, it's kind of done, all right? So let's do some processing outside of it, okay? So let's just add a bit of EQing next, all right? Because we might want to get rid of some of these clicker frequencies. You see, like we're, we're, we're boosting them in Serum, but then we're actually taking them off to more filtering. But it's counting content that we're actually filtering out. So we're leaving always a bit of that information there and it helps for this to, to sound punchier and clean and clean at the same time, you know? Okay, so now that we took off quite a few things, we're gonna apply some OTT Ableton's. This just sounds like this, right? And we don't want that. So we're actually gonna push a bit of the mids. That's what we want. Tame down the tops. This should be enough. All right, cool. We don't need to worry about the lows because we can apply our last instance of EQing to wrap up the patch and the sound itself, right? So we're gonna make sure we don't have too much low end going on here because this tab is 
it's going to be effective in this frequency range because if you listen to the original there's a sub and there's actually like loads of bass steps going on on the tune this one's just like sitting beneath uh those bass shots and it's doing its job you know because you we don't need the low end because the low end is there on the original on the other basses so this one is gonna you know just blend in um there and it works trust me you know so let's do that okay and then just to be sure if you don't want to have like excessive stereo we're gonna cut some of the stereo from the 100 inch hertz that might be here you know just to be precise you know and in this part if you want to boost them we can also do that by just siding this part just a bit of this part in terms of stereo right so just some final tweaks on the shape it's all about that guys you know experimenting uh, obviously to fit the original I would need to to get the formula done but this is real sound design it's how it's done you know it's just not a uh, following formulas we need to put our ends onto the onto the, the the synth itself and experiment you know so let's hear what uh what it sounds like with our sound okay so we're gonna remove a bit of uh of the lows here actually we can leave them um maybe just dug down some of these frequencies where our synth is going to be at so it shines a bit better all right let's listen you say you got that bad boy recipe Oh yeah, sounds good to me. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.